Welcome to Healer at Home. It's spring cleaning week, whereby we're actually giving the house a thorough, deep, proper spring clean from top to bottom. So I'm here to share with you my spring cleaning tips and tricks and hopefully inspire and motivate you to get organizing and get cleaning because there's something wonderfully therapeutic about cleansing out all of the dust and cobwebs of the previous years and just starting afresh to collect them. Today we're in the dining room so I'm going to talk you through some of the tips and tricks that I use to spring clean the dining room. We have a combined kitchen dining area. So over there, that's where the dining area is with the dining table. And then over here, that's where the kitchen is. So <laughs> when you have a combined kitchen diner, it's very important to create the demarcation between the kitchen and the dining area. And for us, the demarcation starts from uh, over there, where that cupboard ends, that's the dining and everything going that way is the dining area. And then for the kitchen, it's everything from the breakfast bar over there. So we're going to be doing this area here. You see that? All of that. When it comes to dealing with the big pieces of furniture, that have loads of things in them, like all of the books. And over there, we've got books and stuff and miscellaneous. I prefer to focus on one thing at a time. So I'm doing a spring clean, not a deep organization, a deep dive organization. So it is quite easy to get sidetracked when you're spring cleaning and mixing it up with organization. So as long as everything is contained in here, for now, that is not a concern for me. I My concern is with the exterior, wiping it down, removing the stains, cleaning the back and the underneath, and then putting it back into place. The organization will be done on another day. So that's one way of reducing the intensity of the task because it can be quite scary when you think, oh my gosh, I have to deep clean. So that means that I have to take everything out of the cupboards. No, 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 you don't have to do that. You can just focus, first of all, on just cleaning the exterior and then setting apart another day to just do the organization. The only things that you probably would move are the things that are sitting on top of the pieces of furniture that you need to clean and polish. Don't forget that this is a good opportunity to just take an extra 20 minutes, I think it takes about 10, 20 minutes to polish. You put on the beeswax, let it dry, and then you just rub it off and give it a nice shine. But as you can see here on the dining room table, these are all of the things that were sat on top of my big pieces of furniture. So these are the things that I will organize, but they're nowhere near as much as the ones that are inside the cupboard. So they'll just get a wipe down. So for the windows, over the years, I have found that the quickest, fastest way to create clean looking windows is to use a chamois, chamois, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but I've written it down here. But this thing is banging. It is so worth the money to get a decent one because you won't need those spray on window cleaners or anything like that. You just rub it down and it gives you clean windows in a very short amount of time. And bonus tip, if you've got any kids as well that can help with it, this makes it so much easier and they're not working with chemicals. So that's one of the reasons why I love this great thing to use. The next thing is to do the light fixings. See if I can show you <laughs> these ones here. And I will show you my favorite tool for using that. So the light fittings, they've got these really lovely balls, but they do gather a lot of dust and they need to get wiped down as well. And this is the perfect tool for using that. So this is a microfiber dumajiggy, which you put onto your hand like so, and then you can just go around removing the dust. And because it's microfiber, it picks up 
a heck of a lot more than any uh, normal cloth. I prefer using microfiber uh, for cleaning. So those are some of my tips for how to deal with a space like the dining room, as well as wiping down the dining room table and using some dishwasher mixed with uh, water and then just giving it a nice little scrub and dry it down. If I have extra time, I will actually polish it and then I will mop the whole floor with the windows open so that it can dry out quickly. And that's gonna be the first stage of the spring clean. At some point in the future, I will then do the organization of the bookcases and the cupboards within the dining area. Once every two to three years, they will get moved away from the wall and then they will get wiped down the, cut, the back itself as well as the wall and the floor and we also wipe the skirting board so i've already done it on here i'll try and insert some before pictures so that you can see so that's always good to get done when you're doing your uh, big spring clean and so these have been moved away from the wall
Thank you so much for spring cleaning with me today as I tackled the dining room, which also has a children's crafting center. And if you have kids, you probably know how long it takes to kind of like try and spring clean through the kids stuff. But I hope that the point that I was trying to make, which is the separation of cleaning and organizing, because it can, you know, if you try and mix the two together and tackle both the cleaning and the organization together, it makes the task mushroom and balloon into something so big that no one person is able to complete it. I mean, if you can afford to hire cleaners to come and do the spring clean for you and do the organization for you, then by all means you can do that, but it does make the job bigger. So as I said before, I have cleaned the exteriors of all of the cupboards and all that, and the insides, the decluttering of the books and the sorting out of the things that are inside the cupboards, that will be done on another day. So that's it for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know if you've started your own spring cleaning already. Take care now. Bye.